Welcome back to the WOMCast episode 5. We got a great episode planned for you guys today. We got Jay, aka Injustice CA. Um, not only is he an absolutely amazing RP here, but he's also my editor. And he edits a lot of the videos that you guys see on TikTok or YouTube or this podcast, that kind of stuff. And so it's actually a really, really exciting conversation. You guys are going to get to see some of the behind the scenes of all the different things that happens on the editing side of things, but also uh, talk to somebody who can create really, really good stories. So we got that coming up just in a bit. Episode five, everybody, we've made it through five whole episodes. That's freaking awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching these episodes. Uh, this week of stream has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys yet about the merch on the podcast yet, but we do have our, our Wombat mug here. Um, if you guys want to check out the rest of our merch, it's down below. This podcast is sponsored by myself, okay? Because I believe in myself. So that's great. <laughs> but uh, today's conversation is going to be centered around really story building. Uh, and that's the centerpiece of great RP, in my opinion, and great content creation as a whole. We don't have to get too far into that, but it's really about that. And talking to Injustice, uh, aka Jay, he's really a genius at creating stories and creating opportunities for people to get involved in. And just he's an, an idea guy. You know, he's a guy I love having around. He's somebody I think is really, really interesting and somebody that I think you're going to enjoy hearing more about through this podcast. I think really the magic of RP is centered in that piece where you meet a stranger and you just RP out an amazing storyline with them. And that's exactly what happened with Injustice. We met through Rush Hour. And then the craziest things that we found out were both from the same hometown. So uh, I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy this episode. I think you're going to find it to be something that, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just a good one. It's a really good one, dude. So if you guys have any comments or any questions that you want me to answer in next week's podcast, put them down in the, in the comment section below. I was going to say description, but put them down in the comment section below and uh, I'll go ahead and answer for the, those for you guys next week. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming to the podcast. Hopefully you enjoy this episode and let us know what you think by the end of it down below. We'll see you. Well, everybody, I'm joined here with uh, Injustice CA who plays Jay in the server that I'm in also happens to be uh, the editor uh, for all these amazing <laughs> videos you guys see and all the different like podcasts, and all that kind of stuff. Um, at least 99% of that now is, is this man right here. So uh, big ups to you, bro. I appreciate you. Thanks for coming on the podcast. Of course. Yeah, Welcome this is in. sick. I mean, this was a long time coming. Honestly, we, we kind of threw the idea together and then it was like, you got to go on, you got to go on. And it just never lined up. So I'm excited. I know, right? Yeah, because uh, I was like, we, we probably should have done it like first episode since we were editing. It probably would have been a, like a smart thing to do. <laughs> we were like, yeah, we would have. We had the idea and it just never, it just never lined up. But yeah, this yeah. is exciting. Um, so, dude, we met like, I don't know how long ago it would be now, but we met on uh, like a different character of yours, right? It was, uh, it was yep. like Billy Nivel, like similar if not same voice right it's the same voice i mean it's like the same voice but uh after you talk so much like on the radio like i think my real voice comes through more on that character mm -hmm. but it's the same it's like the same kind of style of character just a cop honestly it's kind of the exact yeah. same thing and i think we met honestly i think we met on the kiflam thing you had oh or maybe i've arrested my. you guys but oh yeah I for think, sure yeah but the main thing we met was like you had a tweet about a kiflam event I just decided to show up. I was on duty. I wasn't yeah. supposed to do or anything like that. Just wanted dude, to do it. I forgot. Yeah, dude, this scene is like lost. We never made a video on it. Nope. Never made a. It was actually like I think that scene was probably our best scene actually together. I think that I think that's like what started my like storytelling, like creative side was that like whole scene. Like we show up at a, an event and I'm on duty. I'm a cop. Yeah, and then we go to the roof. The whole Kiflam thing that everyone else, but. Somehow there's like a mechanic in the game where if you fall out, like if you go unconscious, you're knocked out. And somehow I lived the fall. Like I think I luckily. think the trick was uh, armor. Oh, was I, it armor? I think that was the trick, dude. If you have armor, you're a chosen one, basically. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just landed, and then from there, everyone's like, "You're the chosen one." I'm just laughing the whole time. Yeah, saying it wrong on purpose and all these things. Like, 
yeah. then we just go on this whole adventure from there. Well, that was the centerpiece. Of, that was actually or the peak of the, the Kiflom storyline. Like it was like that yeah. was when it was like the best. You know what I mean? And and yeah. storylines, they only have one moment where it's the best. Like that's what I've started to learn. It's like a storyline yeah. peaks, and then it's never that good anymore. Yeah, it's kind, it kind of like fades, right? Like you you know when it's faded, and you got to yeah. just move on. And that was like. Well, the good, and I think thing. the good RP is they see it and then they kind of create the next, you know, storyline. Uh, it's it's like, on to the next. Yeah. yeah. But that moment, because what happens is, yeah, you, you jump off the roof and then, because <laughs> like, if you guys don't know the whole Kiplum storyline, some people might not, might not even know that, but we basically started like a cult in GTA where there's <laughs> this, there's, yeah, I know. Right. There's this like, uh, um, I guess this religious group in the GTA like universe where it's called Epsilon and they like praise this like God called Kiflom. We actually didn't even like stick too much to it. We just made up our own shit along the way. But uh, what we had people do was like a, a process where they had to come in. They watched the Holy PowerPoint where, cause there's these literal like TVs in the, in the game where it shows like a PowerPoint slide, like through a PowerPoint little presentation. And so I have them read that. And I don't know why I had the idea at one point just to make it like a holy thing that this PowerPoint yeah. was made by somebody like like who has high esteem. someone who knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after that, we take them to the roof. They jump off the roof like they make a leap of faith. And if they survive it, then Kiflam has chosen them. If they did not survive it, then obviously not. But everyone survives because it's GTA. And uh, <laughs> then, uh, but some people didn't like, they didn't only survive. They just got knocked out. And that was what Billy Knife Wolf was. And then yep. uh, I think where I started to realize we would connect really well on storylines was within that one as well, uh, mm -hmm. which was really cool because of how we threw off to each other. Like it was just like natural. Like it was like very natural, like throwing off, like, I don't know, like you give a little cue and then the other person goes and then they give a little, yeah, cue, yeah, and then, yeah. you know? And that's like the key to like a magical thing. And, and for me, this, that whole, yeah. Whenever I think back to that whole scene, even, even stretching it out to where there was two other chosen ones. And then you yep. tried to like incite. I didn't, I didn't want other chosen ones. <laughs> Billy was like selfish. So like, yeah, I had dude. to come up with some idea to like m show that they were fake. I was whispering in your ear, like these guys aren't real. Yeah. All these things. I'm like, wait, really? You don't think that, you know, like, and just like egging it on. And I, I, I don't, I think. It was it was kind of like if you dissect it, there is some kind of science to some of these like little storylines we make, right? It's you know kind of that moment. There's like a moment which would the moment would have been when you became like the chosen one, and then everyone just kind of builds upon that, just keeps keeps throwing things at yeah, that yeah. storyline, and then it takes people to drive it though. And I think what's cool is like yeah, in that moment I was like, damn, this guy is like one of those drivers for that storyline. It, it was cool, man. It's really cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I mean, even like even all the like side characters at the start, like Judge Fudge. I remember Judge Fudge being there, and like everyone's egging it on and saying yep. the chosen one. It like builds up, and then we go on this grand like hike, and like even there, like I'm throwing cues at the the like fake chosen ones. I'm like, hey, what? Let's pick a number or something like that. And I keep like saying the number before we. I think it was a color or a number. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I keep saying, or it was a letter on the Vinewood sign. I kept saying like words that started with that like that letter, and then. No one said the right one, but we all went with it. And then, like, there was a mountain lion, I think, that ate one of us. And then you had a parachute that, like, no one knew you had a parachute, and you parachute oh off the god, sign. Oh, my god. I forgot about that, too. Yeah, because they got all crazy, and, like, we're going to shoot us. And, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, So, you're saying that's, like, that was kind of your first where you're starting to make stories? Or what, what think, was that for you? I think so. Like, I, I think back, like, I started getting into GTA seriously when, uh, like, another streamer baked. Like yeah. I met him on we a gotta server. Gotta get him on the podcast as well, dude. I love big. He'll be he'll be down, yeah. But like, I we started we started playing every night, and it was more like, what crazy thing can we do to make like other people like laugh or like something, you know? Because like back then, like years ago, like there wasn't really good RP at all. It was kind of like cops versus robbers. Let's shoot cops. All these things. The servers didn't have scripts. So we mm. were like, let's just do things that don't involve scripts. And we kind of like trickled that into rush hour, but we never played together. But I think right then, like that Kiflom thing was the first like big story. Before that, I didn't have a, I didn't even have a criminal made. It was yeah. just cop, and it's just like everyone kind of knows cop is just like what alert do you go to next kind of thing. <laughs> and if you're a yeah. cop character, you just have a silly voice or like a different voice that makes you different. No one really, I think TT plays like a really good cop that's actually like a character before the job. But before that whole thing, I never even 
thought yeah. of like storylines or any of that kind of like arc style? It's kind of hard when you're a cop, right? And there's kind of some other things on Krim that do the same effect, actually. Um, but on cop, when you're getting into a storyline, there's always the big chase that comes in and you're like, I should probably go on this chase. That's at, you know, like Polito or something like that, or like yeah. whatever. And that will pop off when you want to do a storyline. And to be honest, it's not that you need to go there, but that you're kind of addicted to that chase a little bit of like going into that chase, being a part of that. You don't want to miss out on it. Yeah. Uh, and I think the same thing that that happens with on a crim is actually boosting. Yeah. Boosting is like. It's anything that kind of like way. triggers that like a rush, like any chase, like yep. both sides have fun on the chase. So like boosting and like going to alerts, it's all the same, right? Like instant, like there's going to be a chase here. Yeah. There's a little bit of RP of like in the bank, but it's not much like, yeah, there's so much you can do in there. And then everyone enjoys the chase, you know? Yeah. I think, uh, the storyline side of it, I was really lucky cause I started with the Civ character when I first, my first character mm -hmm. ever. So that was kind of like all that I like. Had. There's not much to do other than that. Yeah, yeah, that's all I had to do. And so that kind of allowed me to get kind of addicted to that idea. And so now like the heist and the and the chases, I love all the driving and all the like planning and like all that kind of stuff. But there's nothing better than a storyline like like that one in particular. A lot like a lot of the ones that we've done together. And and I think it's uh yeah, I, I think it's really it's important for people to to realize that, that that's the real like special sauce in my opinion yep. yeah is that yeah. like even if there was no mechanics in the server whoever could survive i think are the best rpers yeah i agree i think things like recently was the me you and terry got stuck in some like lock gate and that was like a perfect example we're stuck in a lock gate and we're making these like factions and all these mm. things and yeah. there's nothing there but it's just like us three like vibing off of each other's like dude that one for me was yeah that was that was dope because it, I could, I watched that back actually. Cause what we did is we accidentally jumped into a compound, like a gated off compound. We had no idea it was actually even there and we jumped <laughs> we into it, it and, uh, we were locked in. You, we could not get out. There was no way to get out unless we we're going to cheese it or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, uh, yeah, we just didn't get out and we just stayed in for as long as possible. And, uh, actually for me, I was sitting there and when I saw us all like having to survive, I actually like on my stream, like started playing the survivor music and then oh, it was like, awesome. <laughs> it was just like, dude, we got to make this like a, a, like a moment, you know, I actually wanted to go on it longer. I thought it'd be like a lot, a lot more fun to keep going. Yeah. We yeah. should do something like that. It'd be fun. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that's kind of what it does. Like once somebody has that spark of a, of an idea and if the right yeah. people are around who aren't like worried about getting to the next, like robbery or the next thing or the whatever dude they'll just cook something up with you that's just fantastic and terry did a great job there you did a great job there i think i feel like we all just bounced off each other yeah yeah made this like the factions thing and then it got interrupted and kind of got screwed up but yeah um, the, it, the ending wasn't there it could have been something crazy yeah. but i think i think there's like so many people i think our gang has like a lot of those kind of people i would say like sunny terry yeah. those are like and you of course like that circle like i know somebody's gonna throw an idea and then yeah. one of us will like take the idea even further. So I think like stuff like that is like, I think what, really it, what it does when you have people around like that is it, it makes the people who aren't a little bit more like that too, you know? Yeah. Um, it kind of shows people kind of like where you're saying like, Oh wow, I can do some of these stories with like the Kiflom thing or whatever. Like you start to realize like, Oh shoot, I can just do this. Especially even like streamers yeah, yeah. start to realize that too. Like, oh, wait, I can just do this and I don't have to like, go rob a bank and try to like keep to my stress about that. Yeah, yeah. Keep my like viewers like dopamine out of their mind. You know, <laughs> like when they yeah. learn that it's a powerful moment in my opinion, but the story element of it is really important. How do you feel like that's different on cop versus like coming over to crim? Like has, is think, crim harder to you or is cop harder to you or is it just different or I think when I first transitioned, uh, like, like right before that Kiflom thing, I don't even think I knew any of one, anyone in the gang specifically. And when I transitioned, I still didn't really know anyone. I actually knew like Jack Banks, which doesn't even play yeah, anymore. Yeah. But like people like that, I ran into first and kind of introduced me to everybody. But I would always like get on. I'm like, am I going to play cop or crim? Like crim, I have nothing going on. And I was in that like mindset of like how you play cop is like, if there's no like job or like there's no, it's like, like boring in a way. Like you don't know what to do. You don't. You're not in that mindset to create things. I would say Grim is much is much easier to like create now that I've done it. But I would say like when you're like first starting off, you're probably like, if I can't go rob this, I'm gonna go 
fun trash all day and that stuff like that you probably don't want to do that you know what i mean yeah, so yeah. i think cop is like no one no not a lot of people not no one but not a lot of people play like you're a character that has a job a lot of people are just like i'm a cop like that is just what my yeah. identity is you know there's no separation so that is easier in my opinion because it kind of tells you what to do you just log in and you have things going on it tells you what to do all day you respond you know yeah i think crim is crim is harder in the sense of like you have to come up with good content consistently or even jobs like you can't do rat jobs all day you have to come up with good ideas for your getaways all that so yeah that's like the harder way i think crim is just the world is like not really laid out for you you know eventually it mm -hmm. kind of starts to be that way a little bit like you start yeah. to like get fall into like a, a pattern but every single day like I mean, today, for instance, right? I woke up, I knew I was going to be in jail all day, right? Like, yeah, yeah. legitimately, I knew I was going to have to do, like, anywhere from, like, six to eight hours of jail. Yeah. Like, I Literally, knew there was yeah. no option. There was no, I was, like, I actually, like, kind of challenged myself with that, you know? And so, like, that was, like, the extreme version of a crim, but it's kind of how a yeah. crim feels sometimes, where you don't, you don't have anyone telling you what to do. Yeah, yeah. And there's so you're, no like, line. there's so much to do that people don't know what to do like a lot of the yeah. times i think and uh yeah and that's where I, like a lot of, that's one of the biggest questions i what should i do on my crap like what do i do and i'm like yeah. i mean the world's your oyster you know do whatever do whatever you think you know but yeah. what people fall into is that like grindy side of it they fall yeah, into they get, that like how do you get money that's what you do on crim is like yeah. how do you get money how do you do jobs more often how do you do these things and it's like it's not really what you want to be doing i think like the best way to play a crim is like Come up with some idea, either with your circle in character or out, out of character. And then, like, in character, you just figure out how you're going to make that idea happen. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be, like, a money a money income kind of, like, flow. Where, how did you see that of, like, restarting with Prodigy? Because and Justice and I both went over to Prodigy. Um, same time, pretty much. You went over a little bit earlier than me. Like, a, I think, like a little I think bit. Technically, but. yeah. You, like, went out of town, but... We both went around the same time on Prodigy, yeah. Yeah. So how did you feel about like kind of restarting new place? No one knows us. You know, or not even us, but you. I, I yeah, feel like yeah. we we purposely kind of like tried to at first at least not like be around each other all the time kind of a thing. But mm -hmm. I think feel like that? starting I would say like starting out on Prodigy, like going into it, I was kinda excited. Like servers in a way get stale, like if the entire like community kind of like We'll trend together so if everyone's like being creative together then every the server feels more alive yeah. i would say for rush it was kind of like going down for me so like it was exciting just that like alone and new people all these things like there's a bigger server 250 people like that idea like you could run into anyone and yeah not even necessarily streamers just like anyone and have like a new interaction like i do enjoy the like the starting over kind of feeling yeah. in game so like that just in like GTRP, like that's really refreshing. New faces, like you don't know anyone. I actually enjoy that kind of more yeah. than like playing the same server for a year, two years, and you know. Yeah, there's got to be some restart. Yeah, some restart stuff like that. I think with Prodigy, it was it's interesting to like just start new, man. It was like, yeah, it was really, yeah. it was it was hard. It was different, you know. It was a lot of people were there for different re like just tons of different <laughs> yeah, reasons, yeah. you know. Like, yeah. and I think. There was a percentage of people that were there just to RP with their streamer. There was a percentage of people there that wanted to just like grind. There was a percentage that wanted to RP, you know? If you could catch yeah. the right people, it was like dope. Like there was that one guy, uh, Poggy Woggy, when we caught him. Poggy Woggy. I yeah. mean, that was like so much fun, dude, because <clears throat> that was like the first person who would just go on a, a day long adventure with me and not even care what happened at the end of it, you know, just as long as yeah. it was good RP, you know? I think, he was uh, definitely like one of those, yeah. Like, I mean, he played his character in a way. Like, not everyone like plays who their characters. He just stood at, at the motel for seven of his eight hours. So, like, if you had anything, I'm crazy. sure he was down. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's a, <laughs> that's like a whole other level, dude. I think that's badass. I think that's, uh, so, that's good. Yeah. The the prodigy side of things, I guess. Well, good. I guess a good conversation to have is how, like, how would we start out fresh, like. If you were thinking about now, right? Because I think mm -hmm. a lot of people listening, they think about that. They are they're, they're maybe going through that. They're like just now starting RP or whatever. Like, what would be what would your first day look like? And I'll answer it as well. But you you go ahead and start. Yeah. I think if like going into a server, if I was even if it was like I was just starting out and the server's been going on, 
I would try to start with like a sit, like something light, not jump into crime, but like start with some sort of civ job that like is like only interactions, like doing like taxis and finding like some yeah. sort of way to like make it different or even like towing, make it different, but like not falling like in love with like the job, but like doing these things that will force like a interaction with people, you know, like taxi drivers, tow drivers, like something along that sort. And then slowly like creep into the like crim side and intentionally like. If you go into a server with friends, like intentionally not doing things with them is probably the best bet for your first like week, you know, like just do things to like force interaction somehow. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, make up something, you know? Well, it's, it, yeah, that's the thing is a lot of people, they go into servers with friends and dude, yeah. I, I can't say enough that in my opinion, and this is like completely my opinion, but I think the magic of RP is finding random people that you have not met. And creating yeah. like badass storylines with these random people. The, to me, that is just such an amazing, amazing thing. Like I, I could connect with somebody who's literally across the entire world and create yeah. a badass RP scenario for like people watching. I think that's just so cool. I, I think that that yeah, whole yeah. piece of it. And so I, I would say, yeah, first off, if you are going to fly in with friends or like you're going to like, you know, start in a server with friends or whatever, just avoid as much as you can the first few days or don't, you know? Yeah. Or don't yeah. like, like let them play on the server and you play on the server. And then eventually once you guys maybe get a little bit acclimated, you guys can like, Oh shoot, this is your character. Cool. But the yeah. reality is dude, like the more, the more you're away from your friends, the more you'll meet more people. And, uh, for me, if I was going to start out, I always use the mundane stuff to meet people. So I use getting a phone, getting a radio, getting a, you know, a lock pick, getting a, um, a job or getting a whatever. I use each one of those things as a way to like go on a little storyline with somebody. Yeah. And yeah. I try, I try to like, while I'm, while they're taking me there, I'm trying to like get them to go to another thing or give me their phone yeah, number. Yeah. Um, and the phone I, number I think thing I saw is that important with the prodigy, like prodigy, you would do that. Like it was a new guy for your computer that gave you the computer it was a new guy for this and that showed you locations. I think that's like, I definitely saw that when you were doing that on prodigy. Yeah, it's it, it'll it'll work sometimes and sometimes you'll find like the one person that you RP with and you're like, oh, my God, you know, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's important in that process for you for you to to meet as many not not even necessarily as many people as possible, but just meet people like uh, and, and a lot of people are introverted and I get that, but you kind of got to like separate a little bit. You kind of got to yeah. just be like, you know what? Screw it. No one knows who the hell I am on this video game. No one knows what I what I do or who I like how I am, you know, in, in the real world, but you got to just reach out and meet people. Cause that's, it's just the only way to RP, you know? Yeah. And, I think uh, yeah. like, like going off that, like I am the quietest person like in real life, but you wouldn't think that if you like mm -hmm. saw Jay, like I kind of purposely like, Oh, I'm behind a screen even before like streaming and doing face cam. Like no one knows what you look like. No one knows who you are. So I would play like something like my goal is kind of not necessarily like a storyline to it, but like more of like my goal is I want to go in and make people like have fun yeah. and like create things that will either, either like stream viewers or players will have fun with. It's kind of like that. Like Jay is like the opposite of introverted. Like we'll talk all the time, but like in real life, that is not me like at all. Really? Yeah. The, uh, that, that's something I, I actually really do appreciate about, appreciate about you. I think I see it on not only within my content, but like other people's content is a lot of times you I've seen it like on bake stream too where you will just help facilitate some stuff that yeah. like you know if 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 they if I have an idea or like someone else has an idea you're like okay let's make it happen like drive it yeah, to yeah. like the point where it actually happens or like or you'll be like hey what about this idea and you're like just take it and run with that you know what I mean or, yeah, or yeah. what I, I think it's it's really it, it's only it's not only helpful on like a uh RP side of things, but just as a streamer, sometimes like content wise, dude, it's like, yeah, it's really, really helpful. And I think that seeps into like kind of part of the, the conversation I wanted today to talk about, which I think people will find interesting as well, even though it's kind of about, about RP kind of, a, kind of not, but is the editing side of things and kind of, I don't know. We don't get to talk about like, yeah, no one really sees that. You, like, yeah, like what we do or what, what you think about it or what, <laughs> I don't know, all that kind of stuff. I think, uh, um, for anybody listening that doesn't know, but Injustice edits my stuff. I, I said it a little bit earlier, but you, we talked about that just in DMs yeah. at some point. Um, I think, I think I saw like, I basically started editing like 
not even i would say i haven't even been doing it for a year like i don't think i'm great or good i just like i would watch youtube videos and then try to do it with my own stuff and then i think i heard you saying you needed like help with tiktok or i think it was youtube you're like i really want to do youtube videos yeah. or something like that along the line i just dm'd you i was like a month or two months into knowing you i was like hey i can i can try to help like the biggest yeah. thing is time, right? It doesn't have to be the craziest edits. It's just like, how do you take time away streaming or editing? So I reached out and then I think we started doing the like YouTube edits. We were doing like two or three a week and then some TikToks. And then like, I think it helps that I already do GTA stuff. Like I already kind of know what is good and not. So it was like from there, it was just kind of like piecing it up and just sending it over. Really. Yeah. I think it's funny. It's it's important to have somebody who's funny editing your stuff. Like it's just the reality of it. Like if they don't understand like comedic timing, if they don't understand, or even like serious timing or, or that kind of stuff, they don't understand those pieces of it. It's like impossible to like communicate that to people. And that's something like I yeah. worked with a couple of other people editing stuff, and that was something where I was like, when you said that, I was like, dude, this would be freaking amazing. The the thing that bro, like I can't say thank you enough to you, I, and I I know I say it, this kind of stuff a lot to, to you, but like the the fact that like, like everyone needs to know that injustice is absolutely like helping me out when it comes to editing. Like, um, I wish I could afford to pay him like like a full time salary to do everything he does, <laughs> but um, the reality is, dude, like so many times where I'm. I'm a little bit beat up. I'm not going to lie. You know, like yeah. I'm a little, my ass is a little bit kicked from like streaming a bunch of, a bunch of hours or, um, that alongside maybe real life stuff and, and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, shit, I can't even think about like a TikTok right now. I can't even yeah, think yeah, about yeah. like a YouTube video. And then like always like this happened the other night, I was like sitting there and all of a sudden you're like, you're sending in like guest ideas for like people on here. I'm like, dude, yeah. I just. I just feel very, very lucky. Even if it's just for a season to like have you helping out of whatever, whatever it ends up being to me is just like such a, it's just been, I, it's the only reason why I'm, I'm like been growing to be honest yeah, with yeah. you. Like, and it really is. It's just, um, and so I appreciate it, man. I thank you. Of course, That's man. It. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I think about it. Like, I mean, we'll jump in, no one sees it obviously, but like we'll jump into a call and we'll talk about RP or we'll talk about a TikTok. It's supposed to last like 20 minutes. It, it's an hour long call. It's like, I'm always thinking of these creative ideas. So it's like, it's like right up my alley in a way, you know, like I, I already enjoy it. It's very, it's not like editing is not a hard thing to do for these TikToks because it doesn't have to be like out of the ballpark edits. It's yeah, TikTok, yeah. like it's on your phone, you know? So it's like all these little things, it takes a little bit of time, but it's like very much so what I already like to do with the yeah. RP stuff. So yeah, I, I think it's kind of, it it's kind of cool. Cause it's a, uh... It is like a, a fun way to get a little bit of experience to like helping like produce like a, a YouTube channel or produce like a TikTok or produce really just like an entire like, I don't know, like a smaller streamers brand, you know? And I think that's actually like yeah. a, a good thing to have on like a resume and stuff because it, it's something that uh, we just learn so many little things, you know, like we'll see like a dip in an algorithm or we'll see like, a, um, I don't know, something work like this podcast is something that yeah. I, I didn't really know if people were going to want to listen to or, or yeah, anything yeah. like that. And, um, we're, this is like the best thing that we're posting right now, which is so Definitely, cool yeah. just to see the, some of the behind the scenes. And this is something that we were just like, maybe we should, maybe we could do this. Maybe it could not work or maybe no one will listen to it or whatever, but we'll yeah. just, we'll just put it up. We'll see, you know? Um, yep. yeah. Yeah. So it's been, it's been a cool journey kind of like getting to know each other, which is kind of cool too, because we're actually from like the same, the same like hometown which is yeah. insane to me. The fact that we met on an RP server and then you yep. were like, I'm from like the Temecula area or like IE, you know, that kind of stuff. I yeah, was like, yeah. I grew up there my entire life. You know what I mean? My family's yeah, like yeah. still out there and all that kind of stuff. I was like, dude, that is like, it, I don't know. It just was such a I was like, small world kind of like feeling, you know, like yeah, a small world. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but we haven't met in real life yet. So, I mean, maybe this next weekend or something like that, we'll figure it out. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Well, um, definitely we have a TwitchCon local, so that'll be cool. Dude, TwitchCon in San Diego is going to be really good. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah. Vegas was trash, but I mean, we won't talk too much, <laughs> too far about that. But uh, so we've, uh, we've progressed quite a bit within the Jay and Nick like stories, right? I think, yeah. uh, I think anytime that we kind of get together, I, I just see, yeah, I, just, I, I think people really enjoy it. You know, yeah. I, I think people really enjoy like seeing us like, kind of mess mess around with the storyline uh one of the most recent storylines 
uh, that we did, which we'll probably jump around to some different ones, which would be kind of cool, but we can kind of recap this one is the TT storyline and, yeah. uh, and just the J and like stealing, stealing TT from Nick or trying to at least. Yeah. Yeah. I, dude, this, this one was crazy. Do you remember when that idea started at all? Like, do you no, remember I, like when this like kind of seed was planted or no? I think there was a long time ago where it was like TT and Nick kind of already like did the date. And after that, I, I wasn't around for like the date side of it. But then I was like, man, she's too much like of a woman for you or whatever. Like something like that. <laughs> I would like say it a few times like like and then like you kind of like played it like you were jealous. So I knew like right there, like, oh, I can run with this. Like, yeah, it'll be it'll be a clash. In a way. Well, that, like, that right there is like a good like even that explanation is the good explanation of a cue. Right. Yeah. So like you like say something and then I like am acting jealous and like kind of pushing it yeah. forward. And then we know, oh, shoot, okay, we both think this is, like, going to be funny. So let's just, like, yeah, yeah. let's just, like, send it, you know? I think yep. that's cool. I think from there, it was, like, I don't really re remember, like, everything. Like, some of it, like, a lot of it is just improv, right? Like, you see yeah. the cue, the, the cue works out. So I think from there, it was, like, TT came over to our, co our new compound. And we were, like, pushing for her to, like, have, like, a date. And I was, like, I get, or Terry and I were, like, going back and forth. And I was, like, I'm going to sit in on this date and steal tt from nick and then like <laughs> i go over there i give her more money than you gave her things like that i like i had i, I look like, at my bank account i had like no money to give <laughs> that's so like, funny i was like damn dude yeah and then from there i think like i think it was just like oh th th there's could be something here that we can try we can try to like actually steal her so we gotta like i came up with a, a random idea i was like how do we like make tt hate nick was like kind of the character decision yeah and like I try to like make decisions on like we run off to like Jay's really young. I try to make decisions that like young people would make, like yeah. just stupid, careless decisions that like you don't think about the outcome. Like, oh, it's actually your your friend that you're like hurting in a way. Like you don't think about this thing. So I, I fake pictures with t uh, Terry and I. Like we're like kissing, and <laughs> we have someone like take pictures of us kissing. And I like changed my hair to be the exact same color, and like it was the exact same like hairstyle. Terry had a wig on, like. <laughs> All these things. It's crazy, man. bro. <laughs> and then we go to like TT. We don't tell Nick nothing, no cue there. And then we show TT, which is like another streamer. And he just runs with it. And like he bring TT brings it to Nick. And then it's like this whole thing. You bro, find out live, basically. Like, yeah, I had no, like, that's probably the most surprised I've ever been in a storyline for sure. Yeah. Like, that whole idea was like, I was so surprised when she showed me the pictures. Like she, she was like mad. And I'm like, I thought someone maybe told her something. I thought you maybe like said something to her or something. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she throws these pictures at me and then I like, look at it. I'm like, there, I just like stop for a second. I go, there is like no way he did this. <laughs> There's no, I would, cause I was thinking, I'm like, I would have never thought of that. Like I yeah. just, I just was like, there is no way I would have ever thought to do that. But also, I'm sitting there, I'm going, shit, what do I do now? Like, yeah, that was like a pretty hard decision to be like, I can't, because then if I decide to like, go against Jay, I'm like choosing to go against one of our people for a cop. Yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it was like a really interesting like decision to make and like kind of like to, to sit down with. And I think... Uh, but the creativity behind that was like 10 out of 10, dude. I, I would not have thought of it at all. Yeah. The dynamic alone is like crazy. Cause like, it's perfect for GTA, like a cop and a crim yeah. dating, like it's just perfect. And then like, you kind of use that like against Nick in a way, like, like you can't date like this cop. That's like wrong. You know, we're, we do illegal things and it's like, that's like the reason behind it. But really it's just for content. Like, yeah, yeah. it's just. We're gonna we're gonna steal TT or end this relationship. And yeah. Then even after that, the boys like kidnap TT, like they kidnap TT, oh they bring God. her to the pier, like all these things. Like everyone's like, we can't have a t like cop and <laughs> Nick can't go together, you know? Like yeah, at that point, I'm like, oh my God, they they put me into a corner. I definitely can't pursue <laughs> this. Now. I was like, I was like, bro, I definitely have to snap out of it now in character, you know? And just like, yeah, it's, it's got to be something that we just. I don't know. We just kind of keep moving forward <laughs> because yeah, dude, it was, uh, yeah, that, I think that was like, people were asking about that for, uh, that's always how I can tell if it's something good is people ask about it days after they're like, yeah. so what happened with Jay, you know, or whatever people wanted me yeah. to like kill Jay. 
They were like, yeah, like they were like, how could you not kill him? You know, they're kind of taking the whole idea from like the blue business or like the meth yeah, business yeah. and being like, yeah, we need to, we, you need to have no emotions with that. I'm like, no, this is way different. Like, because if I do <laughs> no that, emotions. I'm killing him because he's taking away my cop girlfriend. Like, <laughs> like, like that doesn't make sense as like a, as even like someone in a gang or whatever, you know? And I think, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think those are good things though. Like whenever you can put somebody like another RP or in like that kind of corner to have to like decision make and have to yeah do these types of things. I, I think it's, I don't know. It's fun for me at least. I, I hope yeah. other people enjoy it. I think about that often. Like I'll come up with some idea and then someone will twist it or say something. And then like the idea is like ruined in a sense, like that same idea can't play out, but it's really like the best time because it's all improv from there. You know, like they'll say, let's go to this place and then they take it however they're going to take it. And that's like the beauty behind what we do really is like anyone can pitch some sort of idea and twist it with their actions. And it's like, you kind of just have to play it, play it from there. You can't really like, you can't script it, which is like a funny thing that everyone loves to say right now. Like you yeah. can't, you can't script it at all. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, and if you do script it, it's never as special. Like yeah. the, our peers are good at, they're good at one thing and they're good at improv, you know? And that's, yeah. Yeah. Once you start giving them like things to say, or once you, I don't know if you've ever like been in a scripted situation in RP at all. I don't, I, I like people like, it was like very big. Like people like DM you like, Hey, would you be down to do this? It's like, I've never responded to those DMS. Like, yeah, I couldn't see myself being like, okay, yeah, let me, let me plan this outside of like the server. And then we go do it. I could never see myself doing it. Yeah. Whenever all. I get those DMS, I'm always like, yeah, just, we'll just handle it in the, like in the server, you know? Cause like yeah. whenever I've done it a couple times or I've been a part of it a couple times and you think it's a good idea to go, okay, we're going to do this event or we're going to do this thing. And then we're going to let everyone kind of know outside of the server that we're doing these kinds of things. And, and this is where you kind of need to go with it. Don't go too far here, but go far here. You know, the, and yeah, you just can like, whenever you're sitting there talking, like the viewers feel it, you feel it. People are just like, they feel like they're reading a script, even though it's not like, yeah, yeah. Actually completely scripted out. They're like, you can tell they're all guiding it somewhere. Yeah. And it doesn't feel legit and mm. you can always like smell it, dude. You can just, it just, it's, it's just never, obvious. yeah, it's just not good. And, uh, if, if our peers were good at it, they'd be actors, not like <laughs> yeah. our peers, you know? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's, uh, I, I think it's something that, um, yeah, you just never want to script anything, bro. Yeah. It, it just, it, it just never works. Awful. Yeah. It's awful. Um, the another one I wanted to mention or kind of recap on was uh the HOA. Oh yeah. That's something we haven't really talked much about. It, it kinda like it kinda like disappeared in a way. The HOA was like I think I saw you guys mention it on stream. And then like when I hear something off stream, I'm like, how can I add to this? How can I yeah, yeah. help this? Like naturally I know it's gonna get introduced. You just to me. I don't have it, to like, right? You like you Yeah, pretty it. much just metagame <laughs> it, show up exactly there. Just fly but in right there naturally i know like they're gonna mention this like story arc is happening mm -hmm. when they do what can i like how can we add to it and the hoa was one of those ones where the whole baller gang is all at least then i don't know now but like then it was like all our peers everybody yeah. wanted to rp they're strictly a baller like they're just a gang member they're dumb all these things and it was like a perfect clash of like we're we're too good for you. We're the HOA. You guys got to like leave the neighborhood kind of like. Yeah. We're we're the Karens of the group or like the block. And we're like, they're toilet papering our house. They're setting it on fire. And we're like, we end up bringing it to court that we're like, we yeah. want to like start this thing. And it was like, everyone added in some part, like Sonny was a part of it. Everybody. Yeah. I'll say this. It was about to get good. Like it was on the brink of getting good and got ruined yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. I think uh, the best way to ruin a storyline is for people to insert themselves into said storyline when yeah. they don't need to be in it. Like, yeah, the reason why it, it was cool is because it was just me or us and the ballas against you. Yeah. Like, and then like cops started coming in. Then like other people started mentioning it. The Vago started talking. You know, it's just like all these different crews started like jumping into it. Yeah. And it was like, it wasn't really meant to be that, you know, like for me, I was going to have plans to like, I was going to try to get the devs to clean up and like almost make it look like it's like AstroTurf out there. Yeah. 
Like like yeah. one day, just like all of a sudden, it's like astroturf, and maybe there's like a gated community right there or something yeah, like yeah, like just yeah. something for like it wouldn't stay there, but it'd be like it would just be a, something a, to a RP day or around two thing, yeah. And or we were gonna block it off with a uh, construction crane and put somebody in there as if it's like a oh, that's uh, funny yeah. like a like a security booth, but it became I don't know for for lack of a better term, it's almost like a storyline becomes uncool when yeah. something like that happens. And it gives me, you know how people always say it gives something gives them the ick, you know? Yeah, yeah. It gives yeah. me the ick, dude. And you'll see it, like you guys will probably see it in the future. There's times where I get that ick and I just switch it up. I go, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. And, yeah. and I got it with the, the HOA thing. It was too much involvement from everybody. All like it just wasn't cool anymore. And it wasn't, it wasn't it. And I think one thing. Actually, one thing that you're very good at, and I think one thing I'm pretty confident in is like, I can tell when a bit it's, it's dying. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell, I think, I, I think we can tell a little bit early, earlier than some, some other people. Yep. Um, and I think the one thing we saw that with, which we don't have to go too, too deep back into it, but with the one thing we did see that with was even, uh, when, when we switched over to prodigy Yeah. and when we came back from prodigy. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, I Perfect. think I think yeah. those timing things have been like really crucial, I think. Yeah, cuz we we like it's it's like obvious to say Prodigy had a lot of big streamers on mm -hmm. it that and we left even before like all the big streamers even like left or anything along that. Like it was yeah. totally our decision, you know? It wasn't like a forced thing. We were, like like when we left maybe Prodigy, it's not right? it. to yeah. Prodigy come when back. When we left yeah. come back to Russia, yeah. Yeah. I think like maybe we just knew like, you know, you're logging in and you're not forcing it, but you're kind of having to like, you're forcing the mechanics in a way because that server, what really was in our style, I yeah. think like it was designed to like, kind of like grind and shoot a lot. And we kind of didn't want that. And we kind of knew like right away, like we got to go back to rush hour, try, try to go back to rush hour or try to do something different. And we knew like right away, like we're going to go to rush hour. I think, at that time I kind of like just stopped playing GTA for a little bit. And I think you I, went I, to rush I, hour. I had a call with you, didn't I? I think we got on a yeah, call. Yeah. It was like a, a yeah, few, a, like maybe a week before we left Prodigy, maybe a few days. We yeah. like got into a call, yeah. Well, because I was like, because I'm, I remember Pro, uh, Rush Hour was having like DDoS problems, like crazy. And so yeah. when I when we did leave, actually, that <laughs> what's crazy about yeah. this is that happened like the moment after we left. Was that you? It was me. No, was <laughs> no, but the moment after we left, that's when that really kicked up. Like yeah. even more because it was starting to happen when like right before we left. But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go try out Prodigy for a bit. Um, yep. We go over it, and then when we were leaving Prodigy, yeah, like you said, dude, it was literally like I called you and I was like, bro, I think we're just gonna be able to create what we want to create on Rush Hour. And it was the moment I realized I don't need to try to get into these big servers. I don't need to like these other people. Like a lot of people, that's their growth strategy, you know. Oh, yep. these other people, these other servers have more have have other big streamers and they have viewers and those viewers will watch me. The problem with that growth strategy. And I talked to you a lot about this is yeah. uh, the moment that that other streamer that, that those viewers came over from is live. They will watch that streamer instead of you. Yeah. It's yeah. just the truth of it. Now, not every single one, but like yeah. generally, you know, like yeah. generally. And so the better thing to do is to get viewers from like TikTok or like, you know, YouTube or like some other like funnel. And, uh, and so for me, I, that's, that was the moment where I realized I'm like, no, we just need the right elements in a server. We don't need a big server. We don't need to be on, in my opinion, we don't need to be on no pixel. We don't need to be on, you know, uh, I don't know, like prodigy or like, you know, like yeah, those yeah. things. It'd be cool. You know, it, yeah, like, definitely. It'd be cool to be a part of those particular servers, but I think it, it's not needed to grow. Yeah. I think, I think like even like the last week shows like, Whatever server you're on, we're on, like, it doesn't matter. Like, the prison stuff is one. Like, there's no mechanics there. It doesn't matter what server. The Terry thing, the factions, like, we're going to create something no matter where we're at, you know? Yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think we're at a point where, say, I, I'm not, this isn't me like, oh, I'm, we're hunting for another server or something like that, but say, like, we did move to another server. Is it at a point where we would want to move? like together you know what i mean or like yeah. is, is it like a unit at this point or is it kind of i don't know what, what's your viewpoint on on the gang as a whole i guess like that that I kind think, of stuff 
I think, uh, like, even if it wasn't a different server, even if it was, like, a server wipe, these servers have, like, an update, and everyone's, like, starting fresh, I think <clears throat> the way I see is, like, moving together would be more beneficial just for, like, RP, even outside of, like, yeah. the, the, the stream. But I think, like, the best way would be not everybody moves together. Like, it's not, like, a planned thing. Like, let it, like, authentically happen. Don't yeah. plan anything. I think, like, if you went to a different server, I would find that I would probably want to go to that server. But I think, like, naturally letting the, like, clash of the characters, like, again, kind of yeah. thing. Or even a server update. Like, like if Rush Hour had an update tomorrow and economies wiped new characters, I think, like, I kind every of want game that. just... I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think we're <laughs> like, almost there. I don't know if they'll ever do it. I don't know if they will. But I kind of want... I kind of want... I don't, I, sorry, I kind of derailed you a little bit. But, no, no, yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I someone mentioned that on stream. It got clipped, and they were like, "It got clipped." I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They asked me something about that, and yeah, I, I love that kind of stuff, dude. I think I, it's, think I think it's needed. Like every server, eventually you hit a threshold where people, like majority of the people, stop trying in a way, and you need that. Like, yeah, that update brings everybody together. Like we're gonna do, we're gonna grind again. Like the fun new things, we're gonna try again. Like you kind of need it after a while. Yeah. And rush like. Rush has like put their foot down saying we never want to wipe, but like it's only a year and some months in. Who knows like where the updates go? I think it's really needed in a way. Like you, I need think that. it's needed because like I, I don't know. I, I I don't mean I'm not trying to I'm not trying to sheet on anyone else's like way they do things and stuff like that. But yeah. to me, look, I'll be real. It don't make no sense to me having millions of dollars in RP, bro. Yeah. I, I like I'm a, I'm gonna just be honest about it. Like, what the hell are you using any of that money for? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, what what are you? I mean, there's probably particular situations that make sense, but if you're like a criminal and you have millies in the bank, what? Yeah. You know, I think like, uh, like they're just trying no, to combat it. There's no they're need, trying to combat you it. Know? Um, yeah, and, and to me, I, I just think. I don't mean to like attack, but it's just, it really is to me. Like, I think you should think about what you're doing if you have everything as a criminal. Yeah. Like, and like, if there's no reason behind why you're robbing a bank, if there's no yeah. reason behind why you're doing that. If, if your reasoning is, I sure do love a chase. I don't, yeah. I don't, I just personally, I don't think there's enough behind it. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. But I think, I think it's like everyone has their like teach their own in a way, but like, yeah. You can tell they're trying to combat it when, like, every gang is getting charged millions of dollars for the properties they've yeah. already owned. But, like, yeah. if that's, like, it's a solution, or, like, a, it's a temporary fix, but then it's, like, all that money that they're, like, gaining, all these gangs are going to get all that money, and then, like, they're going to regain all the money back. Like, the economy, in a way, has to be, like, hard reset, in a way. Like, because too many people will get all this money, and then, like, they'll just stand around all day. They'll, like... They'll talk to their friends all day. They'll sit in a circle, you know, it's like, it doesn't benefit everybody yeah. in a way, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think, uh, it's, it is kind of hard though. Cause we move, I don't think we realize a lot of times, but we move at a pace that is like, it, it's, it's just, it's kind of ADHD amongst ADHD, you know, like it's like, yeah. we go like, I mean, another, it's just like, brrr, you have like outside looking in, it's just like a lot, you know? Yeah. And that's why, like, a lot of times when we try to bring people in, they're like, what the hell are you guys doing? Because yesterday you were doing this, and yeah. then, like, say it's, like, a bit, um, for me, like, the used car lot, right? I thought that could be an everyday bit, yeah, but it's not. It's not, it's, like, just not an everyday yeah. bit. It's, like, a once every while, and then we'll, like, do one. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, and then I just, like, I, I realized that while we were in the middle of it one, at one point. And I go, okay, let's pack up. Let's go. To, we're going to get on to the next, you know, like, and my mind's moving to the next, like, we're going to grab something else, you know? Um, and I think that like stresses people out sometimes, you know, different personality yeah. types. It's like, why are we moving all over the, all over the place? But really what we're doing is we're kind of shotgun approaching. Where's the next like blue business or where's the next, like, yeah. you know, those kinds of things. And so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I try not to, I try not to be too rude to people who like to get in the server and hang out with their friends. Cause I mean, look, how, how can you really like knock that? Yeah. But also I come from a different lens, right? Like I, I just view RP differently personally. Um, I probably, I, 
I, I, I try to say it nicely because I don't mean I don't want people to think I don't love RPing, but I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't streaming. Yeah. Um, just the sheer amount of time that it takes. I like I'm 30 years old. I'm married. Like I, I just couldn't do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I just, yeah. I just could, especially a criminal RP takes a lot longer, like a lot more to set up and, and that kind of stuff. I'd probably just do, if I did do something, it would be like popping in and just like, boom. And then, you know, coming out. Yeah. But I, I think, uh, yeah, that's the lens I see it from is creating like scenes that I would like to watch and other viewers would like to watch. And yeah. so to me, standing around just is crazy. It, it's like, it's like ridiculous. Like I think the way me and Sonny have the same, like we're in for like two, three hours, four hours and we're yeah. out like, yep. and it's like, you're most fresh then you're trying to like, you want to bring something and then you leave the server. You don't go play video games with like other people. Like you can play video games with each other, hang out in discord. But like when you're, when you're on the server, it should be like, we're, we're wanting to like, we're trying to include everybody, any new player, any new, yeah. when you're in these like small circles, it's like these people like, you know, not, not to throw hate. I used to like kind of do it is like, you're playing like yourself. It's like, when you when you play like your normal voice, it's mm -hmm. really easy to just, just yeah. show up and then like you hang out with these people every day. You you're friends in the server, but then like you're only doing things with each other because you're like a friend group. You know, like everyone yeah. wants to do things together, and it, it doesn't really benefit the like the whole server in a way. Like it's yeah. kind of it's really bad. It, it is really bad for everything. Really, it's funny because I break that rule. You know, I have same voice, same name. Yep. And uh, I like completely break that rule because I, I advise people not to do that because for yeah. that reason, um, I just I just made the character like as not like a joke, but I made the character as like I just want to try criminal because I was doing yeah, yeah. for so long and I was like that day I made it and I was like uh, Nick will be the name I guess <laughs> randomly I think I yeah. even said on stream and then I looked into my chat and then someone's name was Ender and I go yeah perfect that perfect runs, yeah there we go you know and. Uh, but yeah, I, I do advise against it. It's hard sometimes, like when you're playing with your own voice and maybe you do get a little pumped up, you know, to separate that is harder. It's a lot easier when you're using a J voice, you know, Yeah. because you're like, yep. you're mad, but you're like, I can't be that mad talking through <laughs> that or like yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. Roy Hinch or whatever, you know, I can't be that mad because I'm talking as Roy Hinch. Um, yeah. And yeah, it, it's, a, it is, I think for a lot of people, it's hard to separate. I think for me, um, I mean, I'm sure there's times where I, I don't separate or, or, or something like that, but yeah, yeah. for the most part, uh, I feel like, you know, I'm getting off. I, I'm not really thinking too much about, you know, what happened that day or like a, how a cop yeah, yeah. cuffed me or something. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really care in the end of the day, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a big separation. Like the J West, like the name I've had ever since I started RPing, it was just like, I couldn't come up with a name. It just fit. And then. I used to do my regular voice when I first was RPing and it's like, I found it hard to do expressions. Like, how do you, like, how do I fake being happy in like a small moment? How do I fake being mad? You know what I mean? It's like, so then when I did do like the voice and I tried, it was like a big separation. It was like way more fun. It was m more engaging, all these things. And I find it like you run into these people now and you, it's kind of a joke against cops. It's like these cops will have their regular voice. They don't seem like very happy to be interacting with you. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. just run into these guys and it's like, man, you're like bringing my mood down. Just like, <laughs> you don't have to be here right now. You know what I mean? Like this Dude, is all they, for fun. We always talk about that. My brother and I always talk about that with uh, Red Dead RP. We're like, mm -hmm. somebody will be, you know, they'll be RPing and they'll be just like, they'll be just be sitting in the middle of like Blackwater. If you know anything about the Red Dead map or yeah, whatever. Yeah. They'll be just sitting in the middle of Blackwater with a bunch of friends and they'll just be like, you know, you'll walk up to them and be like, Let's say I was Leslie, you know, hello, dear. How's it going, dear? And then they're like, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> you're like, you're, yeah, you're, like, you're like, what the hell? Like, why are you here right now? Yeah, why are you even, why are you even doing this? You know, and the problem yeah. is, is like these, these uh, games, these like GTA or like RP or like Red Dead RP are built to be addictive. And the problem with that is that people get addicted to it, addicted to it. And then they actually don't even really enjoy playing it anymore. But they yeah. are, they're addicted and yep. they have to play it almost to like feed that addiction. It's like when people play Valorant and we always talk about the Valorant like accent or something like that. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you find people in, in GTA role that have that same exact accent where they're just like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, uh, my music was too loud. What'd you say? <laughs> you know, yeah, the like, music too loud is like a yeah. perfect one. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, 
I don't know. I, I think uh, it just, I think that's the centerpiece of it is that it's an addicting game. People get addicted to it. They're looking for like when it was good and it just never really gets to that point again for them, but they just keep yeah. playing. You, you all, you'll like, you'll find yourself like, you're like hating on the game while you're playing. You're like, man, <laughs> this server doesn't have this. Th there's not that. And you're like in character, like hating on what's going on. You don't even enjoy it at all, but you're like, you just show up every day. You, you have these friends. Like I get it. It's like a perfect escape. You, you, you're like a fake character. You had a hard day. Like IRL, you have a hard day. You get into this game and all that kind of like goes away. You know what I mean? Like everything yeah. kind of fades away. And it's like, but how beneficial is it to like the entire like ecosystem of what GTRP really like should be? You know what I mean? Yeah. There's only so many slots is kind of what I said to like Chunky in that like last podcast uh, or the podcast before last. And uh, reality is, man, there's only so many slots and the, somebody who's in that queue is way, is just like gearing up and ready to <laughs> RP. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're sitting in the queue and mm -hmm. that spot's taken up by somebody who um, is AFK waiting for their boost to come in or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. And I, and I think that's where I, I, I don't know. That's where it kind of bothers me sometimes is like that person's in the, in the thing, but the other guy's like sitting in the queue, like ready to RP yeah. and would be a great character to see around or something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's where it yeah. kind of gets a little bit frustrating, but I think people, I think also like, the reason why people show up to GTA roleplay and like don't roleplay is because they want a sense of belonging. You know, everyone wants that like sense to belong and it's a really easy thing to get. Like, like whenever you get into a gang or something like that, yeah. that sense of belonging for people, even though it's just in a video game, it is very real, you know? Yeah, or definitely. People, some people are being thrusted into a leadership position for the first time in their life, like leading yeah. a gang or, or they're or leading their like friends around and they, uh, like that whole thing they've never experienced they will they, they all of a sudden have 10 12 new friends they enjoy that every day you know they show up every day i mean i get it but like it's kind of like like everyone could try like everyone could try to do the exact same thing but i think the separation is like like i kind of said earlier is like you can do the exact same thing i mean we have it in our in our gang like we all have that sense of belonging but like we all we're like playing characters at the same time. You get the same like feeling, but you just, you're just like, it's like a little bit different where everyone's creating something a little bit more than just some like online friends in a way. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it'll be like forever on GTA roleplay, especially just because of where the servers have gone. It's just, it's just created to be addicting. And it's every single video game like nowadays. Like every yeah. single video game is like, you need to put, do like a, like a full time job every week within the, like that amount of hours into the game, yeah. if you want to be good at it in any way, shape or form. And it's kind of a, it can't be good for us to be honest. <laughs> it can't, it can't Everyone, be good for us. Yeah. Like the 16, you know, there's people like you, you're, you're on for like 12 plus hours. And if you're not streaming, you're like, what you're like whole day is just like in, in the, in an addictive state, you know, yeah. like that kind of stuff, you know, like, I was there, like, I would play all day, get food, get back on the game, get food again. You know what I mean? Like, you're going through lunch and dinner, like, on the yeah. game, you know? It's like... Well, now your boss is thing. just an asshole, right? <laughs> is, what, uh, is what Jay always says, at least. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah. The, like, the link to that is just... I love that, like... Like, I'll see things, like, I love to, like, rile up the chat in a, in a way. Like, <laughs> say something, like... I, I think the TT thing was, like, perfect for that, is, like... yeah. You see, you see people that like kind of overreact and it's like, you got to keep doing things that like, because it's great. Like they're that invested. They, they, they love, they love what's going on so much that like, yeah, they're in it good and bad. They're like, they hate Jay the next minute. They love Jay. Like stuff like there that. Was, is, like, there perfect. was kind of a turning point like recently, I think where people really started caring. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, cause I think even since you've been around, like that's changed, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. For a while, it was like, you know, people like, haha, that was funny. Or, you know, oh my God, oh, you guys did that. That's crazy. But now it's like, Jay makes a, 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 a choice that they don't like. Yeah. And they hate him mm -hmm. and possibly even hate you. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's no, they don't separate. Like, <laughs> Jay, that voice, whoever is coming through, that guy's got to go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That. And I wonder, like, how is that for, like somebody who's not streaming and and just playing 
Is that yeah. like a little bit much to deal with? Or you kind of, you kind of ex probably expect that at this point, but I think, I think it's like, I think sometimes you're like, you'll think of this idea and then like chat hates it. You know, you'll like watch the stream back. You're like, damn, I did not hit there. Like I'm not in next week's like, no one's going to like me for the next week. Like, but I, I think like you're kind of used to it. I think yeah, you're, you're on the internet already. So it's kind of like, you kind of have to expect it, you know, like yeah. everybody has to know that anyone could be streaming and like people might say negative things about you. I do think like as bad as it could be to say like, Chat takes it way too far a lot. Like my favorite is like, hey, this person's meta gaming you, or this person's like, you know, like, yeah, there's no way this cop, there's no way this cop like found us, or there's no way this, and it's like they assume the worst. I think like it yeah. is taken far a lot, but I think, I think for we've me, been we've been, been mitigating a lot of that recently, and it's gotten a little, I, I think it's gotten a little bit better. Um, yeah. but yeah, it's yeah, it, it that's one thing with growing I didn't really expect, right? Like cuz you know when yeah. I was streaming to like 30, you know, to 50 average, it was yep. like, you know, I'm I'm locked in talking to the same like pe people, you know, yeah, from home yeah. home. And now there's a lot more people coming in and out and people who really don't have my same mentality, like a lot of times it was like a little bit like everyone like kind of understood how I thought, everyone kind of, you know, and then yeah. now it's like there'll be some like newer people that come in and like that's the thing that I feel bad about. And I've tried to really like, kind of like stop is yeah. Like people like, like you or like angel gets a fucking a lot of hit heat. You know what I mean? Or yeah, like Kaya, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. luckily that's died down a little bit, but like they don't realize that now that person, once they see that chat, they're kind of walking like, yeah, you're on eggshells a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You feel like, like okay, there's like 200 people reacting to what I'm doing or, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. Cause like the uh, the reality is is like on a server there's about five to ten streamers that you know there's there's more but about like every day live I'd say there's like five to ten yeah. most people on the server if they run into like a known streamer on that server they're gonna go back in the vod and they're gonna see like what happened like what the stream thought you know like they're gonna watch their yeah. part over again yeah and I think everyone would do it everyone does do it and the reality is is like if you're ripping them apart they're gonna they're gonna see that and then it's gonna be like oh maybe i don't want to go this direction with that person or i don't want to you know i don't want to interact as much because like i'm not liked by people that aren't even the person playing you know what i mean well yeah and one and like it, it just takes like one chat to say that you know yeah, they're like yeah. like that person's so stupid or this or that <laughs> i mean like i just personally i just started being like timing people out or whatever. I, I, there was one that happened with you that there was some decision you made. Uh, some guy didn't fucking like, it. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. some guy didn't like it. And he's like, said something about like you, you're like, just like, Oh, he's yeah. Like you said, he's got to go or this, this and that. And I just said, <laughs> I just look at him over at him. I just go, you know what? You got to go. <laughs> and I just like banned him because I'm like, bro, like if you guys are saying that about like, not only like, like, like the, the character but the people yeah, or yeah like you're annoyed by the people or something like that like if they use the twitch name it like when they when once they separate it a little bit it's yeah like, yeah and that's where I, I just start to look at it and i just go like look injustice yeah jay might have betrayed my ass and taken tp <laughs> okay but injustice has done like like so much for me and probably one of the reasons why they found me in the first place was because of something you edited or something like that yeah, you know what yeah. i mean and i will always like I will always try to protect that way over like some yeah. like new person coming in the chatterbox and like being toxic towards like you or like Kaya or like, or, or even somebody else, you know, if they're another streamer, a lot of times they're kind of signing up for it. In my opinion, um, yeah. especially if like a cop on either side is, you know, making a decision to be like more aggressive or those kinds yeah. of things. Um, for me, where that line gets crossed is when somebody goes into another chat, but, uh, like when they go over to their chat and like, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. And then yeah, why are you doing I, this? I see yeah. that I ban their ass, but I mean, I think you kind of sign up for it if you're like, yeah. if you're streaming and you're streaming, and then like two people are streaming and they're interacting with each other. It's like you can't really do much, you know. You're you're yeah. alive as well, you know what I mean? Like you kind of, like you said, you sign up for it, and it happens all the time. I, I think the, it's a good problem though to have, in my opinion. Like, yeah, you should be creating something that people care enough about that they're gonna like. They're gonna get mad about it at times. I remember, yeah. There was one recently that happened where a guy, I was playing Fortnite one day instead of playing GTA and he <laughs> lost his shit in the chat, dude. He was like, 
like as if he had come home from work, turned on Netflix and breaking bad was now like, you know, some kids show and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, and like, he just like couldn't handle it. And he's like, you've disappointed <laughs> me. Wombat, you've never disappointed me before. And now you disappointed me. I'm so I, I'm leaving. And I just like, yeah, yeah. At first I got mad and then I was like, dude, we've created something that is that valuable to somebody. Yeah. I feel lucky to be a part of that in my opinion. Oh, for and sure. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's cool to see that, you know, people care. I, obviously that was like an extreme example, but yeah, it's extreme. Um, yeah. I think it's a good problem to have. And that when somebody comes over from like another chat to my chat or, or whatever it is, I just realized that we're all creating something that is that important that somebody even yeah. like cared to do. So yeah, bro. It's, it's cool. Are you going to ever stream again or what? I think, I, Are you kind of like, like you kind of like eh? I I like view it right now, and I'm like, man, like I would enjoy it for like three hours, and then like I wouldn't enjoy it for another three to four hours. You know, like yeah, kind of in between. Like I, I enjoy the creating. I like that's why I really enjoy what we have. Is like I enjoy like like the idea part, the working behind the scenes. Like I could never get credit for like what's going on. I wouldn't care because like I just enjoy the like the creative side of like what's happening and the ideas and all that. Yeah. And it's like to sit there to sit there for a few hours is like, I, I think I would get drained. Like I do get drained. Like that's kind of cop kind of carried the stream in a way. Cause it's like, I don't have to like plan more. It's just kind of given to you. So right yeah. now I'm kind of like, I don't know, but who knows in the future? Yeah. I think it's, yeah. People don't realize that piece of it, you know? And that's why I try to explain to like viewers too, when they're like, They'll be like, I see them like tag you or something like that. Why aren't you streaming, bro? Why don't you do that? I'm like, guys, you got to chill out because some people it's just, it's stressful at some points. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. streaming portion of it, whether it's the numbers behind it, whether it's the like, you know, just being around that many, like that many people like during that moment or whatever. And some people just want to, they just want to create. And it's like actually like a place for them to do that. And so yeah. I get it. I get it. I think, I think like my biggest turning point for it was like, <clears throat> Excuse me. My biggest turning point for it was like the face cam, like like you're just sitting there all day. You're like like you're just sitting there. Everyone's watching you. It's like it's like becoming more than just like playing this thing and like mm. showing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like because it's like one thing to stream your game, but then it's yeah. another thing to like have like that like interaction, that connection, and then like they're they're watching what you're doing. Like it's like two different streams in a way. You know what I mean? Like it's very easy to like no face cam say little to anything to chat and just like play your game yeah. like it have that connections like so much more it's it, it's, it yeah. is really draining for me personally like yeah i think the the only part that is hard for me i love doing it like i never yeah. go like i never hit the go live button thinking i don't want to do this you know but the hard part for me to think about is the time trade right so every yeah. day I, I trade six hours six Sometimes like 10 hours of my day, eight, eight, 10 hours. Yeah. yeah, Probably like more eight to 10 hours of my day every day. Um, and to be honest with you, where that like thought started to come through, like, uh, was when my wife had a stroke, like a couple of years back now. And I yeah. realized I'm like, that could have happened while I was live. And I wouldn't have even known until that eight hours was up. And yeah, yeah. that like hit me so freaking hard. And I was just like, dude, this whole time trade thing is something that, like the people on the other side don't see that piece of it. You know, they don't see, you know, the eight to 10 hours you put in, then we get on a call and then we're like working on, you know, whatever. And then, yeah, yeah. um, and it's not to like diminish the eight hours plus that people put in at their, their jobs and stuff like that, but it's not, there's like never like an off, you know? Yeah. I think, to, to I think the business. biggest thing is like, you're expected the second, like you go live, it's like, uh, it is the entertainment like fear. And it's like, you're expected to like bring them enjoyment mm -hmm. and it's like, they don't see the, like the caught, like what ways, like, yeah. you know, all, I, I'm, I'm spending like 10, 12 hours like streaming or doing this thing or I'm hanging out with like my family and like having like a family dinner, you know, you know, yeah. I mean? like, like all those things are just like totally like you don't, you don't see it. And like these yeah. streamers that do like 10 hours every day, you know, yeah. Like you have a, you have a nine to five, but then like you go home and it's like you have whatever your home life is, you know, and it's mm -hmm. like 
it's like separated. But then like when you stream, even off stream, you have to do things. If you really want to do it. You have to have TikTok going and all these things. And it's another four hours of TikTok like editing or, yeah. you know, so it's like a huge like. Like you said, like it, you you sit there and you compare what time do I have in this twenty four hour clock? You know, like every yeah. day, it's like that like mental game of like what streaming is. Yeah, and so it's a uh, that's where the the side that people don't see. They're like, oh, just just stream yeah. your game. Why don't you just do that in Justice or why don't you just do that? So and so, I'm like, that's why I try to explain to people. I'm like, yeah. some people, man, they're not down for that side of it. You know, yeah. like the, the, not even like the extra posting, but just even like the number side of it is like a huge deal too, um, yeah. for a lot of people. And so I get it personally. I, I love the working relationship that we got, man. I think it's, um, yeah. I think it's great. Uh, I just want to make a lot more money so I can just pay, pay you <laughs> it, to be honest with you. Cause you deserve the world, man. Um, but thanks for doing this, dude. I think this was yeah. really interesting. I think we, they got to see a little bit behind the scenes of like how we work together, but also, um, some of the like storyline stuff. That's been the biggest thing that people have been really liking from this is like, how do these, some of these like our peers like think of these things, you know? Yeah. And that's yeah, yeah. something to us that just comes up and it's like, it just happens, you know? It just, and, yeah. It, it just is what it is. Yeah. yeah it's awesome, but, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, bro. Well, <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. There's another one right here or like maybe right here or something like that. Uh, also, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. If this is your first time ever seeing me, I'm also live on Twitch Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I might be live right now. You never know. All right. See you in the next video. Bye.